Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Fallen Enchantress Legendary Heroes Let's Play. So, uh, we definitely have Nevo on the ropes at this point. Uh, we've taken several of their cities, and I don't think they have very many left. Their faction power has fallen off considerably, and uh, I feel like it's just a matter of time before they run out of places to uh, fall back on. So, uh, we're going to keep the pressure up today, and we may very well be able to defeat them in this episode. Um, I still would like to complete... I always forget where they are at this point, but there are several of them. Um, there's still this epic dragon statue quest that we have not done yet. And I don't know if that is um, something like what this is referring to. Where is it? At the bottom here... Um, so we have to defeat the Guardian of the World's End. I don't know where that is. Um, I wish it would show me. Let's see, is it... It's up in the top left. Is it just going to keep panning forever? Yeah, apparently. Okay. So, I was hoping that it would guide me to where that is taking place. But uh, I would like to complete the quest to, you know, advance ourselves. Rather than just winning through conquering the entire map just so we can experience you know everything that the campaign has to offer but I don't know where it is so we might have to do that quest first before it will tell me I don't know but there's there's no other indication of where it might be unless it's over here somewhere but we can't really explore that I don't think um, we could try sending somebody over there and if we have anybody capable of geomancy that might be able to turn that into a land bridge, maybe that could work. I just, I don't know where else it could possibly be, and so um, I'm, I'm hoping it will eventually lead me there, but I don't know. But I'd like to be able to do that before we end this campaign, so we will see. Um, anyways, I'm going to have Clooney go ahead and take this town right here. Uh, it looks like he's not going to be able to make it this turn, though. So we're going to march him on forward. Um, did I already queue up the construction for this? Because we want to upgrade that to a high tower. And we might want to do uh, the stables as well, just to speed things along. You, Soliag, you're going to rest because your party's a little bit beat up. But why don't you scout north for me, since you still have movement available. Okay, and that's going to advance our turn. So... 53 faction strength. I don't know exactly how many towns that translates to. But I don't think they have very many left. Let's see, we just absorbed that. We'll queue that up for construction. Not that we really need it. Um, let's have you go ahead and advance toward your target. You guys are looking a little bit better. Don't attack that city just yet, though. We'll just keep uh, scouting. Further and further north, um, is there any towns that need anything to do? Nope, looks like everybody's working. These swordsmen are moving to Garrison Frostbite Keep. I don't think that's really relevant anymore. I don't think that they have any troops that they can spare. So, um, I'm actually going to take these lancers. I'm going to send them this way. And I don't know how long it's going to take them, but just march to there. And uh, I would like to eventually find out what's across there. Again, I don't think I have the spells available yet to manipulate terrain. I don't. Not yet. But we can probably get somebody to there fairly quickly. So you're not ready to attack yet. You guys are just sitting here. Um, I don't remember what my intent was for you, but let's send you this way. I think we were exchanging items. Yeah, that's what we were doing. But we'll go ahead and start going after the next bit of uh, Nevo territory over here. And I feel like we are missing an army. Um, I think one of them is garrisoned somewhere. So I'll have to track down where exactly that was. Alright, so these swordsmen uh, were intended to garrison Frostbite Keep. So I'll go ahead and have them do that. Because I don't really have any other use for them. Lumberyard is finished there. So you need something new. Um, is there anything that will lower your unrest? It doesn't look like it. I think we've already taken care of that. So let's do the workshop. That'll speed along any further constructions. 
Um, there's a few other things that are similar. Ah, and Clooney's attacking. Alright, well, let's take care of that. Since it auto advanced. Uh, is this like just heroes? It's an interesting army. Let's see, what is that? I think that's a named character as well. So yeah, I think we're fighting an army of heroes. But that's okay. I don't think they offer much of a threat. The first one got taken out with a counterattack. Clooney, move yourself to here. What is this? Slow. Mm, sure, go ahead and slow. Uh, slow the queen. I don't know if she's actually the queen. We're going to assume she's the queen. The queen. But uh, that'll give her less initiative, so she'll be a little bit less effective in this battle. Uh, let's get you as far forward as we can. Go ahead and attack the Magar. Or Magar, whatever his name is. And it looks like we're going to get the better of them in any straight-up melee combat. That 4 damage counterattack on a crit is pretty pathetic. Yeah, even with a double counterattack, they're only doing 7. So let's keep you guys moving. And I imagine we'll be able to maybe defeat them before we even finish our full turn here. Let's get you over there uh, and jump on in right here. We'll go for, I think all four people can lay in on that one. Perfect. So down goes that hero. Let's get you up over here and we'll go for a double team on that one. So that's another one down. And now we just need one more hit right here. That's actually going to be... Uh, I think we can get there. I wasn't quite sure, but yeah, it looks like we can. So that'll be the end of that. Very easy fight. Where the rest of their garrison was, I have no idea, but that was not even anything remotely close to a challenge. Um, it looks like... So that queen is their main character. Megar was killed outright. Arissa and Velissa were both injured. Ooh, rotting wound sounds bad. Both of those are pretty rough. Um, and then Clooney leveled up twice, I believe. He went from 3 to 5, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so let's see. Um, the first thing I want to do with you is to give you some potential. And then with the second one, I think I'd like to give you chainmail proficiency so I can give you some proper armor. Especially since we have a ton of money. Alright, so which settlement is this? Scarth, level 5. So, we can do a Great Arena, which gives us plus 1 attack and plus 3 hit points to trained units. That's pretty good. Onyx Throne, which lowers unrest in all of our cities by 30. Hmm. That's pretty cool. I'd rather have that in the capital, but I might just take it anyways. Or we can do an Underforge, which cuts armor production in half cost wise and gives us more earth power honestly the unrest I think is our biggest issue right now and like even here it's 88 percent so minus 30 in every city is a huge bonus and New Hallis uh, I believe that was the capital of um, Tarth before we conquered them uh, is now level 3, so we can go with the infirmary. Again, I always go strike garrison, but your mileage may vary on that. Let's skip through a few of these. And hopefully that unrest bonus um, moves some things along. Looks like we have enemies in our territory. Yorder the Giant. I feel like we've faced you before. Why did he not get automatically garrisoned? That's interesting. That's generally what happens. But... Uh, it ended up working out fine for me, so I don't really care. Let's see. City spells. We're going to bless this city. And then anything that will boost... Uh, an extra mana per essence wouldn't be terrible. Since there is two essence here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, you guys can attack. So I think I will have you... Is like What's in this army? bunch of like archers and junk okay ooh ancient ruins we haven't done that one yet go ahead and attack there I might just auto resolve this uh, I don't know if I should I'm gonna fight this one I 
If they were rated lower than deadly, I might have considered um, letting the auto resolve have it, but I didn't want to risk losing any troops and slowing down our campaign. So he's out. Five damage right out of the gate. Uh, you guys are kind of stuck in the back, aren't you? Let's rush you forward. And we'll push you guys up as well. I'm going to put you there. Actually, I actually should have gone there, but let's try to clear these guys out because they'll slow us down quite a bit. Apparently, they get counterattacks with those. That's interesting. Doesn't matter, though. They are dead. With very little uh, contribution to their name. Let's get the Lancers deeper into combat here. And just take out whatever you can. It doesn't matter. They're all archers. Or actually, there's some mages and stuff, but they're all ranged characters, so it makes no difference to me. Uh, yeah, let's get you in here. Go ahead and finish that one off. Oh, come on. 2 HP. Let's see. Swordsman, you guys are going to have a hell of a time getting up into this fight. Uh, I guess that's the best you can do. And then, let's see, we got one more Lancer that still needs to go. We'll rush them up to here and go ahead and attack there for the kill. And let's try to get you guys forward a bit. They're going to take pot shots at us, but it's not going to matter. That was actually pretty good damage. I guess if they focus entirely on Clooney, they might be able to take him down. Eh, as long as we come out swinging in our next batch of turns, I think I think he'll survive. Make sure that they don't get another turn. They resisted it. Great. Um, right. Why don't you guys wait? Can you guys get through? You can. Perfect. So move here. Rush yourselves to there and attack those mages. Great. Take them out one shot. That's what I like to see. Lancers move on up and take out these marksmen. Uh, we're going to need to do a little bit better than that. Clooney, it's your turn again. Why don't you come in here and finish off these archers so that people can get through. Um, are you going to be able to make it in there? No, you're not. Yeah, I don't think you guys are going to see any combat. Uh, I can get you in there, though, so why don't you kill off that group, and that lets the Lancers squeeze through. Oh, no! The damn mages took him out. Uh, he'll get another wound, probably. I don't think he'll die. But we'll see. I might be wrong. Okay, good. So they've been utterly wiped out. And over here. Uh, whoops. Oh, come on. Alright, well, I misclicked. Uh, do an impale, then. Can you still attack them? No. So that misclick costs us a turn, effectively. Uh, go for the kill there. And you guys won't be able to get through. You're blocked. You guys will have to do the honors. Down they go. Okay. So that could have gone better, but it certainly could have gone worse. Um, he's afraid of dying now. Whatever. I'm not worried about it. Uh, and basically everything else, I, uh, no, never mind. I was going to say basically everything else leveled up, but that's not accurate. But we've dealt with, uh, their army there. It looks like there is some more purple this way, but I think that's what Uther and Lineate are dealing with. We're going to need to give you a construction order in a second, but I'm not super concerned with that right now. You guys are going to attack this in just a minute. There's other enemies in our territory. Oh. Spiders. Um, let's see, Uther, it's less of a detour for you, so go kill those things. We'll auto-resolve that. And it looks like we just need to keep heading due north. So let's see, um, yeah, start pushing that way. Let's have you go take that tower, or at least get close to it. So they don't even have any territory down here. Or any, any towns or cities or whatever. And then before we advance any more turns, I need to get you some proper equipment. Because that was partly why you 
got knocked out there. So let's see. Uh, short sword, sell it. Leather armor, sell it. Kite shield, sell it. Uh, that stuff is fine, but let's get you... Where's the good stuff? Yeah, masterwork chain. Interesting. Why is it green? Whatever, I don't care. And get you a helmet. We'll get you proper gloves. Get you a golem shield. And what's the best weapon I currently have access to? The hunter's short sword is pretty good, but I think the long sword is better. Yeah. There is a better sword than that, but we don't have access to it yet, so I think I will just take this. Okay. Um, and you still have room for a couple of like little additional things, so... Let's see, cold attack, fire attack. Where are you from again? Well, initiative is good, so I'll give you initiative. Uh, defense and spell resistance is nice too. That should give you additional defense. And I don't think you can have any more items, can you? So we'll just leave you with that, but that's significantly better than what you were wearing before. Oh, what about a cloak? Cold resist, fire resist, um, or dodge. Let's give you some cold resist. I just, I like the look of this better than the other one. There we go. Alright, now he's properly outfitted. Uh, so this place is going to need something to do. We'll start with a bell tower and then go to the cleric. And then the rest is kind of irrelevant, but I'll have them do the mason first. Then, yeah, sure, the college, tax office, whatever. Makes no difference to me, as long as it all gets done. Alright, uh, which enemies were those? Oh, we already dealt with them. Uther, you've moved. Clooney, you've moved. Lineage. Soliag, okay. So do I want you to attack this yet? We, c we should probably be able to take it, even with these guys wounded. But waiting another turn might be worthwhile, because that, that unit they're training will not be done next turn so it's not like one turn is going to give them any benefit so let's just uh let's advance and give them a little bit more rest before we go in all right so we're going to need to add something to valet because they just finished their workshop and it didn't i didn't get the chance to queue anything else up so let's see um really doesn't matter a mason would be good because that'll boost your production uh, timber mill will do the same. Smelters are good, and that one is fairly quick. And then water shrine, why not? Uh, and we'll do a cloister next. Okay, so that should give you plenty to do for a while. Let's see, do you have anything else that you need to be doing? No, perfect. Uh, what about the capital? I always forget to check in on the capital. I want to make sure that this is always producing... Um, or always caught up on any possible upgrades. And it looks like it is. Um, what's this little red over here? Oh, did you guys get here already? Wow. There's cave bears. Um, medium, what are you guys? You're considered strong. Do you want to fight those cave bears? Yeah, why not? Um, I'm going to auto-resolve it. They should be able to win that, no problem. They're rated much higher. I mean, this is a single unit of Lancers, and they're strong, whereas these guys are three Cave Bears rated medium. And it looks like, yeah, they did just fine there. So keep moving toward your ultimate destination there. Um, so, Uther, let's have you continue to advance. Um, move up to here and see what's going on in that area. So there is quests over here. I wonder if this is the um, the quest thing that we were looking for. Because this looks pretty ominous. Lineage, go ahead and take that watchtower. We're going to need to upgrade that because it doesn't connect to this. Um, it already has the stables though, so we just need the high tower upgrade. But that will connect these areas of influence. And then assuming that that is a tower as well... Um, 
we should be able to connect these up because this will expand by one. If we're able to expand that by one, they should meet right here. And that will connect these. So we could get some contiguousness happening if we're careful or we just pay attention. Um, and you still have movement, so keep moving down the road there. Yeah, go ahead and make sure those pioneers aren't able to pull any weirdness. And the question then becomes, do I send you that direction? No, let's keep you moving north. Yeah, we'll keep you headed this way. Oh, whoops. Whatever. Um, she's going to beat you to that. Or, excuse me, he. Soliag is a he. So we'll have Soliag do this. Ooh, epic versus epic. This might be a decent fight. Okay, so he's just kind of running around, uh, accomplishing a whole lot of nothing, essentially. Uh, let's get these swordsmen in here, and they should be able to one-shot that unit. Perfect. Again, those city militia need to be dealt with quickly because they don't hit... Or, excuse me, they can't take a lot of hits, but... Um, they can hit pretty hard given how cheap they are, so don't want to give them any opportunity to hand out any damage if you can avoid it. I'm actually going to sneak the Lancers through here and have them lay into the Queen and maybe take her out Yeah, before she can cast any spells or whatnot. Uh, oh, you guys are kind of buried, aren't you? Let's get you up here and we'll go... Oh, come on. I was hoping for a kill there. Uh, Lancers, move on up here. Let's get rid of these militia. And that will give us a little bit of freedom of movement down here. Soliag, what to do with you? What to do with you? Uh, why don't you get in here and finish that unit off? And that will allow these other troops to move in a little bit further. So they're shuffling down. Okay. They've basically they've basically abandoned this flank. Um, let's push you to there. I'm going to save your rush ability. Can I get you guys through this way? I can. Why don't you... Oh, I could have just attacked. Well, at least you're a little bit closer now. Now you can attack. That oh, wasn't very good. But you guys are... Yeah, these warriors are extremely outdated. I need to get rid of them. Let's have you guys continue to work on them. And I'll probably leave the warriors behind to finish that unit off. So everybody else can continue to advance. Alright, so the mages are going in on them. You gotta watch out for the mages. They heal a little bit harder than the archers do. Yeah, they're really working on that warrior unit. If they go down, I honestly couldn't care less. Um, again, they're very obsolete. And the only reason I've kept them around is because they continually get higher and higher level because nobody's killed them yet. And then it's less troops I have to train as well. So it, it makes sense to keep them around even though they're not, you know, the best troops that we can field. Let's get you to kind of squeeze through that line there and take out that militia. That's pretty good at 53. Would have liked to kill, but obviously you can't always get one-shot kills. Let's rush you to here. Can I really not get you in there? Really? Oh, because there's a unit there. Um, I shouldn't have wasted their rush then. I'll put you here and you can attack back there. Um, right, swordsmen. You guys are a little bit better. Let's put you there. Um, we'll go two units into an attack on that troop. And we'll keep chipping away at them. Get a block on the counterattack. Lancers. Just feel free to run amok, essentially. Uh, come down here and attack them. Those those Featherman archers are kind of annoying. Not because they're any real threat, but they're, they take a little bit longer to kill than standard archers. And so I have to, you know, commit to hitting them twice rather than once and then move on. But they don't really do any damage, so, I mean, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. Uh, those guys, again, do hit pretty well, but they can't take a hit. All right, so we're over here now. Let's put you there, and I think if I rush you, I can get you to there. We'll go three in on these marksmen. Wow, only 24 damage. Oh, well. Uh, let's stay on those soldiers. Pretty good. Uh, they're going to take one more hit to drop, though. I guess these warriors can uh, finish the job. 
Cool. So down they go. Let's uh, keep laying into them. Perfect. They're running out of room here. Um, let's start moving in there. Yoder the Giant. Uh, we're seeing him again. Although, once again, he isn't able to contribute anything to the fight. They're still going after those warriors. And again, I don't care. <laughs> they just, they cannot even drop like one of my weakest units. So, Liag, let's rush you forward. And I'm going to see if you can take out, I mean, you should be able to do that unless you miss. But there's one less unit to worry about. I don't have to commit a better unit to dealing with it. Um, let's move you guys in here and we'll go two in on the mages. Perfect. And I'll have these guys go deal with that archer or something. I don't need to commit lancers to that. It seems like a waste. What are you doing? Are you attacking those guys? Okay. That's fine. Who's up? Alright, lancers. Um... Let's have you move to here, and we'll have three people attack Arissa. Down she goes. I actually shouldn't have done that. I could have just let the swordsman here deal with it. But it's too late now. So let's move you there, and then we'll rush you to here. You can attack Valissa. And so down she goes. Another hero out of the way. We'll keep pushing you guys forward. Not that you're probably ever going to get back into combat. Um, yeah, just keep moving. Actually, you guys can rush. Get a little bit closer. Uh, warriors. If you stand still, you're less likely to get hit by ranged attacks. So why don't you just stand still? It's not like you're going to be able to contribute anymore anyways. Um, let's. You guys can move. You have plenty of health and... You still have your rush, so I'll move you as close as I can. It's just not very close. Um, and then who's up? Magar. Hiding in the back. I think he just healed himself. Let's see. I'm going to send the Lancers this way. Why don't you attack them, weaken them, or kill them? They're going to shoot at that unit back there. Same with that one, uh, although they did not hit. Um, Soliag, how far can you move in this direction? Far enough. Let's get you over there. And let's see, these Lancers. Um, you kind of have to attack this archer because you can't get very far without dealing with them. Or her. So there, there she goes. Let's push the swordsman up. And let's see. He's going to come to us. Not a very good idea there. We'll just attack right back. Almost one-shot him. And whoever is able to get there next will be able to help and finish him off. Uh, you guys just stay where you are. Uh, that is close enough. Perfect. Let's see. Um, that's not very far, but I guess... Do what you can. Looks like these guys will be able to at least start things. Pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, um, I need you. Oh, they don't have any troops back here. Right, it was it was just Magar who ran away. So, uh, I guess go ahead and finish off those marksmen and that'll be it. Cool. Um, so basically everybody leveled up there. That's fantastic. Alright, so with Soliag, let's see. Um, extra hit points is always nice. Spell resistance is probably a good idea. I wouldn't mind more attack. Yeah, do the plus two strength. And then we're going to bless this city. So we can lower the unrest there. Okay, and it looks like there is a town up here. And it very well might be their last town. At most, they'll have like two more. They do also have a watchtower, which counts toward that score. And I think that'll be Clooney's next job, is to go take that. The question now is, what do we want to build? Um, Probably the cleric and the bell tower first. 
And then the mason. Honestly, beyond that, it makes no difference. So sure, do all that. Okay, so who hasn't moved yet? Uther, you've moved. You're going to go investigate that gate for us. Clooney, you have your orders. Lineage, you have your orders. These lancers also have theirs. So it looks like we just need to give Scarth something to do. Is there anything else for you to build? Uh, yes. So start with the air shrine and then do the earth temple and then the fire temple. All right, so Sandraka has leveled up. I don't even remember where that is. Uh, let's see. Unrest doesn't affect production. That would be kind of useful because 83% is definitely going to be affecting it. Um, that would hurt the growth there. Or we could just get more metal. Kind of like that idea, but we have a lot already. I'll do the gallows. Not that I'm really producing much down here. Um, so we weren't able to defeat Nevo today, although we do have them um, basically on the brink of defeat. They have a watchtower here, and I believe a town up there. Based on that area of influence, I assume that's a town, and it looks like that's the edge of it there. So it looks like one more um, town battle, and they're defeated, and we just need to you know, have somebody walk through these uh, watchtowers to capture them. I think there's one there, too, maybe. Um, and then we got to figure out what is over here. So obviously there's these quests, and I believe that's what this one at the end is referring to. Does it say? No, I'm not getting any tooltips or anything, but I definitely want to investigate that before we end this campaign. So, um, we've definitely got at least one more episode's worth of um, stuff to do, maybe two. But we're getting very, very near to the end here. So, I'm um, looking forward to, you know, bringing this to a close, seeing uh, what victory holds for us. And then, uh, of course, we get to start a new Let's Play in the place of this. So, looking forward to seeing what we might do with that as well. But, um Really enjoying this, and I'm, uh, again, pretty excited to see what, like, this endgame quest uh, is. And I definitely want to do that before we before we get our victory conditions or whatever. I don't know if us conquering everybody will end the game, so I might make sure that happens before I defeat Nevo, just just in case, um, you know, it triggers the endgame or something. And there's walls here. That's really interesting. I'm a bit curious about this area here. Anyways... Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Fallen Enchantress with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.